Right over there is Canada. Canada. We are at the farthest point in the U.S. before Canada. And this is where we're starting. Port yes, Angeles. Sir. Getting a good night's sleep tonight. I'm looking at my destiny. Gonna pack our bags tonight. Get everything together and get a fresh start in the morning. Yee are we are we all committed to making it to the Mexican border? Absolutely. No I, matter what. No matter, no matter what. what. Right here. Let's do it. <laughs> to the Mexican border. To the Mexican, to the Mexican border. border. On cool electric skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> look at all these. They're pretty good looking. Yeah, they are. Dude, look at that tire. Whoa. You're the only I one. I got the treaded. Damn. Call me so. tread. It is the night before a 2,000 mile one wheel journey, and all of our one wheels are getting rained on right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're packing up. We can actually get ready. And stoked. We're doing this. We're just, like the building, We're just packing. I know. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I think it's clear. Um, it's clear what our purpose here is. Yeah. Going into the end now. Good, Casey. Thank you. I know. I look pretty cool right now. <laughs> All geared up. This is like a dream. So yeah, I'm the deputy mayor of the city of Port Angeles, and like love to see like PV and electric vehicle enthusiasts, and look forward to it. Seeing what you guys do in the documentary. Thank you for your support. Cool. Yeah, 100%. Take care. All right. Have a good one. Taking the 101 yeah. west <laughs> to Forbes. It has to be Google Maps. Google Maps bike. Bike. Mom's texting me, be safe. So you guys in Mexico? You guys are legends. You're doing something that's never been done before. Here we go, boys. Where do we go? Uh, <laughs> let's go right. First break of the trip. Damn, look at this view. All right, we're gonna see how many miles we've done so far on this trip. We have done seven. Wow, that look was at that. And here we are with a beautiful view. Waking up our feet because they've already fallen asleep. Knees already hurt, calves already hurt, but I don't give a Let's go to the driveway. Howdy, friends. <laughs> Lucas, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. We only got 17 miles of range. Oh, yeah. On the GT, but it's a little hilly, so hopefully we'll get more. Harry and Kirby, how are you guys feeling? Feeling good. It's a little cold. Feeling great. A little stiff. We're off after the first charging break. We're getting on the Pine Axes now for the first time. <laughs> How are you guys doing in the rain? 
just getting going. If it starts pouring though, we're gonna have to... Please use caution while traveling the next 11 miles. The road is very winding with little to no shoulders. Many trucks and recreational vehicles use this section of roadway. Things are gonna get a little sketchy, but we knew this was gonna happen, and that's why we're wearing these vests. Yeah, we think it might just be smart for you guys to meet us at the next turnout. They're like right there. <laughs> Park Service. Hi, sir. So, skateboards are not allowed in national parks. Got you. Are you parked here? N no, no we're actually riding to Mexico. <laughs> we're on the 101. Okay. So, what you're going to have to do is go up here, walk up here. There's a bus stop. Okay. You're going to have to jump on that bus. Perfect. So, he we are right here at Storm King Ranger Station. Our jurisdiction then right here okay. on 101. Oh, okay. like right up the road, basically. But I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost certain that we, that they're looking into it legally, and I'm almost certain that they've determined that we do not have jurisdiction on 101 on that section. Okay, okay. it's like eight miles. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, let's All right. do it. All right, All right thank you, sir. Yeah, you have a great day. Hey, have a great adventure. Thank you. Yeah, Two of the four boards are blinking yellow. What does that mean? That means you have to turn them off and restart them. They're not calibrated. Lucas is crushing it on stacking all the one wheels. Got all the chargers going. And Kirby is making another sandwich. That's what, number four today? <laughs> Three. Three? Yeah, plus one for last night for dinner. <laughs> This is Kirby's first tuna sandwich at Subway. It's fire. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we're running them to zero. I need. I want 27 percent, dude. I think we're gonna run these dry. Yeah. Let's just go till Casey's on zero. Here we go. My legs. My legs hurt so bad. We are switching the pint plugs for the GT plugs. We can only have one type of plugs plugged in at once. So every time we swap one wheels, we have to switch all the plugs too. You hear that boys? This is the finish line. We got 15 more miles until we're there setting up camp, eating food and chilling our feet out. <laughs> yeah, we've done 50. We've left 50 miles since Port Angeles. Dude. When was the last time you rode 45 miles on a wind wheel in a day? Never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen more miles. Feeling pretty toasted, but we're hitting it hard. No, this is definitely drinking water, right? What else would it be? Okay, so right now, we are here. I already mapped it this morning. Right here is a river mouth. That's probably about 90 miles to 100. So I was thinking we sleep right by this river mouth. This is day two at the starting line. This is day two without caffeine. 
Me and Kirby are surviving. He looks quite good. Okay. <laughs> get back to the coast by tonight, we have to do another 80 miles. Two miles in on this GT charge. Gonna meet the girls and try to find a charger. <laughs> we have gone 30 miles today and we had to stop at the cafe to charge all the one wheels because we aren't keeping the van running 24 seven, which we essentially have to do to get enough power. And it's raining right now. We're learning that the GTs probably have to get charged at a cafe once or twice a day. The girls are gonna have to have the one wheel app so you know when the pines are fully charged. Okay. And then when the van goes dark, mm -hmm. we're it has to be running 24-7. Okay. Like the van cannot not be running. Alright. Nothing, nothing to see here. It's all going smoothly. Love you, babe. Love you. See you guys in like 20 miles. Whoa. This is such a tech trip. Yeah. There's everything like one of those cameras, GoPros. We just did nine miles on the pints. We're at 50%, so we're getting nine miles more. Lucas is dying. She's gonna get to the van. <laughs> Are we not sleeping in Walmart? The tap room is traditional American. Closes at 11. Port Angeles yesterday, we one wheeled 160 miles. Wait, this this way, Casey, Casey. <laughs> we are go for green. Oh yeah, that's a big dog not on a leash. side of the road our pines died about 20 minutes ago the girls just showed up yeah. I'm gonna film a pit stop and see how fast we can make it happen we're gonna we're gonna get all of them up here coming out because when the GTs charge oh, next, we're charging that one as well.
good. Fucked up my lens a little bit. Dude, the back of the pole hit that. Did it? Knocked me off. Fuck! Is it, it wasn't filming, right? No. That's why you wear wrist guards. Fuck, dude. He was, he was literally sliding on the wrist guard. That would have shredded. Could have broke yeah. your wrist and all the skin and blood. We're like riding on the side of highways and these freaking semi trucks are pulling up and logging trucks are like, like right here and we're right here and it's like super gnarly. in we have gone 242 miles from Port Angeles to Astoria Oregon we are now arriving in Astoria after three days guys this is absolutely this is once in a lifetime Miles in on day four. Where are you trying to get to? Floor, uh, Mexico. Mexico. We're about to die. We gotta. Oh, yeah, we're trying to get to Mexico. I'm glad we came this way. race around the track. Uh, we need to get a fair start. Three, two, one. Do you know if you're goofy or regular? 
Uh, <laughs> That's really trippy. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. That's how you get off. Good job. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Start day five. Leaving Tillamook, and let's try to get 100 miles today. You guys feeling that? Right, this is the earliest start. It's literally 8:30. We charged the second one wheels on on the road we felt we just rode like 25 miles to start the day and uh found a cool little town with a directed burrito stop so anyway that's what i would have i would have had fun in my younger days so if you have an inclination to do something now while you're young i would say do it so how far are you going today do you think? uh we got to get Another 75 miles. Another 75 miles. So yeah. Maybe down uh, past Newport, you can try to go to Florence. Every 20 miles, you got to go about 900 feet over a mountain. The girls are getting snacks. Since I felt like this, since I felt like I got a place I can go, the family feels like home. We have bread and we have mac and cheese. That's enough. I need AAA batteries. Where are they? My thing's there. <laughs> How far are you going? Mexico. Oh, tonight we have like 13 more miles. <laughs> so you're going past Walport. Yeah, we are. Oh my god. Nice. Of those errands. How long of charge do you guys have? Uh, right now we're getting 30 miles on these and then we have smaller ones that we get 20 miles. Okay. Uh, right now we're on morning six of the one wheel trip across the United States from Canada to Mexico. We're about 300 miles into the trip. This trip has been a trip so far. Dude, it's been gnarly. It's been kind of like nonstop. We wake up, we get ready to go, and then we ride all day long. And it's a lot. I mean, like maybe three or four or five charges a day we've been doing. And it's tiring, it's exhausting, and our feet are freaking dead. It's totally, total different kind of pain compared to a bike trip or compared to hiking just because you're standing there using all of your balancing and stabilizing muscles in your feet and your leg and you're standing there for hours. Just, it's like a meditation almost and that has been really, really cool. It's been peaceful. It's been really peaceful and I hope this trip goes by slower because we're out here camping, riding one wheels. It's the life. It's the life. It's so enjoyable. Still is very mentally tough. We are on day six now, and so far it's been amazing. It's a lot more demanding than I thought. We are charging or riding all day. I thought we would have like five to six hours a day to freely run around and edit and go on hikes and hang out at the beach, but we're we're really charging most of the time <laughs> we're riding and yeah it's been fun though it's cool to see everyone in this space and the discipline that it demands from each person and seeing how people react everyone's done pretty good right now we're in the middle of oregon it's, uh, i just took a cold bath in the stream hasn't been too bad uh, my feet will get a little sore toward the end of the day but Well, then you just lean forward to go forward? Yeah, you just lean both ways. We're gonna come to you guys, just find the next pull out. Hey guys, it's getting really sunny out here. Why don't we see if we can get some hats? Here it comes, one wheel, incoming. Oh, dude, one wheel sent us a package. Oh, dudes, they sent us hats. 
There you go, bro. <laughs> there you go, Casey. There you go, Lucas. Oh, yeah. oh dude. Dude. One wheel just sent us a package. They sent us hats. They sent us a uh, GT Hypercharger, which is six, because that's an extra. And two, they sent us two pint ultra chargers, um, which is sick because we had one broken one and we're cycling. Now that sucks. And now we got extra. We're having fun. Dan, how's your bet? Oh, what'd you hit? Hit <laughs> that pole. You just hit you the pole? Try to go on the outside of it? In your opinion, to do all the stop signs, who do you think has the right way? spot ever on the Oregon coast. We hiked down to this like peninsula on the cliffs, pitched some tents. It doesn't say we're not allowed to camp here and somebody else actually camped here too so I figured we're good. We just parked the van on the side of the road and uh, I think we're gonna hike to the top of that mountain. Here. I saw this on my bike trip two years ago. I we randomly pulled off. We just found an insane cave, and if you look, you can see our silhouettes in the water. Sandwich king. Well, you're like the sandwich prince. Kirby's the king.
is unbelievable. Dude, check it out. Like a tent right here. Dude, you should do a fly through. Yeah. I on got my tent. Tomorrow we can do a hundred mile a day. Yeah, this is fine. So it's day nine, we're in Brookings, Oregon, and we found this insane campsite on this peninsula down here, overlooking the ocean. It's absolutely nuts. We're like 300 feet above the water, rocks sticking out everywhere, the fog, the mist. I feel super lucky to be able to be doing this trip along the most beautiful stretch of coastline one of the most beautiful in the world. You guys are heading to Mexico? Yeah. From where? We started Port in Port Angeles. Angeles. In the tip of Washington. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> Carving the, so you're doing the whole coastline all the way down Coast. to Mexico. Yeah, 101. On Rock on, Dang. guys. Oh, yeah. Safe travels. Ooh. That went by in a breeze. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty easy. It was easy except when our feet got numb and our legs got sore, there was a lot of pushing through, but just like that, we're through Washington and Oregon. And so we're about to enter California and that's gonna be, it's gonna be big, dude. California's big. We got a lot of riding ahead of us. Yeah, we do. Uh, and we're not even halfway through the trip yet. We are in front of a prison and the guard just came tell us to get away now because he thinks we're gonna pick up some people, you know? Yeah, so we should get out of here. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. It's day 10, and we got a squad going on today. We are meeting up with three dudes, and we're in Arcata, California. We just uh, crossed over the border yesterday, and got a mob yesterday, so today we're gonna be chilling, probably only doing around 40 miles, and we're gonna go to our buddies property uh aaron just let us stay at this place last night super sick of him and it was a good time We're literally going from canada down yeah. to yeah dude we've been riding i mean charging finexes while we ride gts and vice versa switching wow. off and 80 miles a day is an average wow Today really we're hitting 40. Yeah, wow we're doing so miles a cool Amazing. This has seriously got to be one of the craziest things I've ever been involved in. I know I'm driving and vlogging and I shouldn't do that, but uh, I'm on my way north. I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw something that piqued my interest. It was a reel that was basically like, they're riding one wheels from Canada to Mexico, down the coast, down the western coast of the United States, where I happen to be right now. So I met up with them and today we're riding our one wheel for one leg, so 20 miles, a full battery of the one wheel, with these people called hashtag carve the coast, I think. Some homies from Instagram that found them on the ride today. So they have a little crew going. We're not gonna ride too fast, because you're on an XR, right? Yeah, so we'll, we won't max out the whole time. <laughs> but we're here, we're on the 101 South. Headed towards Trinidad and Arcata, and we're gonna take Patrick's Point Drive, go along the coast, and then the Hammonds Coastal Trail um, through Arcata. So we're gonna try to stay off the one-on-one -on -one as much as possible, but we're about to start. Let's hit it. 
Let's hit it. We're hitting the 101. Seven miles per day to finish. We just camped at Aaron's land last night and we are cleaning out the van. We got all our shit on the ground everywhere. It's day 11. Day 11. We are going to start doing 80 to 100 miles a day. I think people are just realizing that we have. 15 more days, or 14 more days of this, and we're only 10 days in. <laughs> yep. yep, totally. So, shout out to the guru for getting us through, Ru. So Lucas has a $2,000 toilet. No, it's, a, it's a $800. Oh, $800 toilet, $2 per flush. And you can shit like a king in the forest. Yesterday, it was only 20 miles. We need to Go faster. That was an easy day that yesterday. Was an easy day. We got so ground to cover so sure. much ground to cover. Since sleeping in this tent, I've probably had like the best sleeps of my life every night consecutively. Really? I have been sleeping so good. How many miles are we gonna do today? Let's try to hit 100, I think. Wait, did it flush without? Oh shit. We're doing our laundry. We're in Arcata, California. About to get some breakfast burritos. Should we go find some breakfast burritos? Let's find some breakfast burritos. This is a super late start for 100 miles, but fuck it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go till 10 o'clock if we have to. That's right. Yesterday was enjoyable. Got a group ride, but today we gotta grind. All right. Let's do it. Lots of trucks and lots of fast cars driving by pretty fast and just desensitized by it, honestly. Not even like phased by it anymore. Lucas' board died. <laughs> Cheers to life! <laughs> I think we're gonna treat ourselves to a hotel soon, so that'll be nice. Yeah. The campsites have definitely been nice, but it's, it's just getting a little bit cold, and just seven people, I feel like my immune system is going down a little bit. I need to stay up for the crew, because I feel like if one person gets sick, we all get sick. So, uh, yeah, we need like a long and hot shower. Yeah, yeah. we sure. haven't really had that. I knew that guy was calling the cops. Yeah. The trucker dude. Where are you guys coming from? Canada? Port Angeles, Washington. You can ride these from Washington? Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. So, in California, you're on a section of freeway that you can only be on a bicycle. Okay. The reason for that is because if Big Rick hits you guys, you guys are all hit. Because you guys are cruising pretty good. I can follow you guys with my lights on. You need to take the next exit into Garberville. There's buses that come. You're probably going to have to catch a bus or hitchhike until you're on highway. Made it to the one. We are following the one almost all the way to San Diego now.
<laughs> we're in California. We're riding, trying to ride 100 miles today, and we're going to end up 100 miles farther in California. That is all I know right now. <laughs> we're making it 100 miles. We got 60 more to go. First 100 mile day. What do we got here, Casey? A bunch of meat, some veggies, some local bread, <clears throat> some salt and vinegar, kettle chips, and a lot of stoke. What do we got here, Kirby? Mm, tuna melt sandwich. It's so good. And Lucas is ready to go. It says from the parked car from last night, which was on the 101 before we went in to the beach. We have gone 84 miles. And we're still going. Yeah, we're still going. 84 miles, we're gonna make it to Guyalala. 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 All right. Let's do it. Guyalala. It's a big day. Today was our first 100 mile day. Pretty sure we got up to like 103 miles. Absolutely crushed our 80 mile record before that. And we're toasted, but we got a really, really sick campsite tonight, uh, enjoying the spot. And we're probably gonna go another 100 tomorrow just to rip right through, get to Santa Cruz quick and say what's up to the guys. And we're stoked, we're super stoked. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kirby. Cleaning up camp. He's a professional. Professional camper. What's the goal today, Lucas? 100 miles. 100 miles We're making today. it to Marin Headlands. Again. Yeah, back again. to Backies. Side of the road. We're on the one south, just south of Bodega Bay. It's like, like it's almost out, but you guys should still. That, dude, that dude's tire fell off, and that's what started. That Did you hear what I said on the mic? I said T minus five minutes till that truck starts stops driving. <laughs> when it went by, and it's like. <laughs> I didn't see it. We literally just put out a wildfire, barehanded. <laughs> Bring it in, dude. So recently, we've had some charging problems, and that's because when all the GTs are plugged in, pulling all that power, and the car's on, feeding the battery bank with the alternator, it's just too much like heat going in. It's not terrible. I mean, I just have to leave the bench open, and that seems to solve the problem, so. Day 13, we're like 60 miles from San Francisco. Feeling good, okay. a little tired. My wrist is a little sore. Oh, we were riding through a town really fast, like on a sidewalk, and I was riding a little too close to Casey, and he like swerved all the way, and I went, and then there's like a pole right there, and I, the back of my board smoked the pole, and I flew and like fell on my back, and I landed on my wrist, I guess. <laughs> Look at this shower! It's filled with seven people's stuff living out of this van. 
swapping out boards. Last run of the day. Three point race, 80 miles in. It's like 40 degrees out here. It's the coldest morning we've had ever. I'm excited. Yeah, I feel good. We got this dope bag. By Step 22. Step 22, shout out. They're actually clutch. Like, he gave us this bag. We're keeping all our chargers in this bag. No. It's right there. Chargers go there. Boom. It is day 14. 14. This, just got some coffee and croissants. We are about to do a 16 mile stretch through the Marin Headlands through the fog, on pine axes, and then we're gonna stop at the Golden Gate Bridge and switch to GTs, where we're gonna rip through San Francisco and onward. How's that decaf, Kirby? isn't the same everywhere. Yeah. Some parts of the one you can walk on, some parts you can't. SR35 here? No, I get you. Yeah, so yeah. you guys are good to go. Just be a little more aware in the future. Yeah. Sweet, thank you. All right, yeah, you guys take care, all right? We just got pulled over for like the third time this trip. We literally went on the last exit of like the freeway one, like so one turn into the highway. And we're good, no tickets yet. So we just, Completed our second pint of the day. We went pint, GT, then pint, and now we are on the GT. So this is our first, fourth charge of the day. We've actually only gone 55 miles because uh, there's been a lot of hills and a lot of wind. And we're chilling. We got like one more GT to go, I think, and we'll kill that and camp tonight. So I'm on hold with West Marine to figure out if they have shore power outlets that I can hook up to the inverter so we can get that at campsites. Right now we're at 9%. Uh, that's because when the one wheels are plugged in, we're drawing more than we're getting with the solar and the alternator. It's fascinating to watch her. Really. So you burn it? It depends on how crispy you want it. Today's day 15 and we are rolling into Santa Cruz. We picked up the boys at Swanson Berry Farm yesterday after a long day of riding. So we're going to drop them off right now and they're gonna to ride to Santa Cruz and then we're gonna to go to the One Wheel headquarters, which is legendary. We're stoked. And then we're gonna to cruise to Big Sur tonight. So that's what we're doing. Oh, and, and Jeff from Float Life is bringing us some gear. He's, we're meeting up with him in Santa Cruz. Okay, so the plan for today is we're gonna get on our one wheels right now. We're about 16 miles outside of Santa Cruz. Uh, is there a wasp on my face? We are at Future Motion, the one wheel headquarters in Santa Cruz. We just rode here. Yeah, congrats. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 10 darts per week at the wall to choose winners, and then we ride that board around. The one wheel of fortune. Yeah, all these first ones had a, a button. Wow. This is like the Kickstarter one right here. You can see it's like all taped together. Dude, this is super sick. We are hanging out here at the One Wheel headquarters. They just got a whole tour of the office. Another barbecuing up some burgers for the crew. And chilling out. 
Good time. Alright, we're doing a swap. Board swap, which has been done how many times so far? Bye! Hey, Thanks, guys! Bye! Guys. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget your sunscreen. <laughs> Today was our Santa Cruz day. We hung out for most of the day in Santa Cruz. 43 miles and it's dark out. We started at like 5 o'clock. And now we're gonna go try to find a campsite. We're stoked. Good, good job, team. Dude, this is Damn. Oh, dude. There was a bike route around this highway. Let's start taking more miles. Went to this local bagel shop and we got everyone some bagels and coffee. Well, about eight days to get to the border. Uh, it should be fine. It's been, I think it's day 15 right now. I'll go to the Mexican border, Canada. 100 miles a day. just climbed through so much poison oak to get this drone. I got it! Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. Hold on, we're having a grape contest. I <laughs> thought I had one now. Do you need one more to beat me then? Uh, uh. 6 o'clock, 6.30. We're in Big Sur. Gonna take, take down the road. No drivers on it. I'm a little exhausted now. Yeah. Uh, sleeping on it, sleeping in a tent every day and being surrounded by people every day. Yeah. It's been the hardest part of this past like week. Traffic. Southern California cars suck no shoulder and it's just like cars zoom past it's always whizzing past you it's like not the same as Oregon and Northern California or Washington it's like way way more dense so we can't really see any bees this morning Going to San Luis Obispo today. We're in Gorda right now. Quick pit stop. Just eating Sandos, you know. It's all we're doing here. We can't see anything right now because of the fog. So it's just like the blinders. We're just like. One black coffee was $6.50. It gave him a dollar tip. I don't know why. It's dank though. What kind of sandwich? Oh, dude, Italian stallion. 
I'm calling from a payphone. I've never done this before, Mom. I found a payphone. Yeah, I have two minutes. I have two minutes. We got crusty dry faces out here. All the wind, all the cold, all the sun. I'm using plain products, beauty oil. This stuff is zero waste. It has nothing but insanely good ingredients. All natural. Wait, do you guys actually like one wheel like pretty far? Real? Yeah. That's sick. I slept at Lucas's parents' house last night and it was sick. Gotta hang out with two dogs. Got a couch, a shower, some laundry, some charging. Install some shore power for the van so we can charge the boards and we're gonna ride a freaking 150 miles today. We got one wheels in the front yard. We got this van probably illegally parked. Suburbs. Feeling good after a nice long hot shower and laundry. Feeling refreshed and ready to get her done. Are you all doing it? No. Oh. Sounds so fun. So this is day 18. 18. Oh, wow. It's because we have seven people like living out of the van. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. A few days away from San Diego. Depends on how many miles we can ride. We're trying to go 130 miles today. We're just going to mob. We got shore power hooked up so we can keep the van on high. We can't actually ride on the one or the 101 because it turns into a three way, not a highway. So we're going back routes, mountain pass. Apparently it's pretty dangerous. So today's going to be a day. I think we're just gonna be mobbing today and we should get started right, right now. now. Day 18, on our way to Mexico. All right, right now we're um, 99 miles away from Santa Barbara. So we're gonna be going inland into the mountains and then hope to make it to Santa Barbara. If we're there early, we're gonna continue on to Ventura as planned. So we just had a late start. Guys, if we get eight rolls, we get the ninth one for free. The guy in there, the cinnamon roll place, was just like, hey, are you the guys doing Canada to Mexico thing on the one wheels? And I was like, yeah, that's us. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, I saw you on social media. Dude, this is so good. I got what? almonds on top, frosting. This is like a well-known cinnamon roll place in Pismo Beach. Yeah. Oh, you guys just stop wherever? It's pretty sketchy right now, actually. We have big trucks going by, shitty road, small shoulder. So yeah, we're just trucking through this part until we get to Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara, we have 66 more. typically see a million GTs out of yeah. nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> you traveling? Where are you coming in from? We're uh, going from Canada to Mexico. Holy oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <my> God, boy. <laughs> I, I, I saw it on Instagram. Really? Canada yeah. to Mexico? That's a dream. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just don't know where we even started yesterday. <laughs> I've been letting these guys keep track of the map. We are in Santa Barbara, where we ended last night at this beach park. Over 100 miles yesterday. That seems to be our new pace. And today we are aiming for Los Angeles. 
home stretch. Have we made our kick of the day yet? No, yeah. we should. Going from LA to San Diego in one day on a one wheel. We're taking the one basically. I cut That's through. feel to be in your home Dude, county. It feels good. Now the streets, know how far we're gonna ride. Basically about to ride the whole county of Orange in one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rock on. Rock on. I'm sore. Yeah, me too. Dude, we live in the wild the past 20 days. What just happened on the highway? A uh, black Mustang threw a beer can at us. So I grabbed a rock. So Ripley. you grabbed a rock. So if he drives by again. Creepy 
ice cream truck came out. This is what it looked like. Oh my god. I just want to get out of here. Hurry up, please. The Daily Brew. So we woke up. We drank coffee. We had waffles. We had waffles. We stayed at Kyle and Kyle Lori's house. And Laura's, in Laura's house. Bed. This is Harry's aunt and uncle. They were awesome. They were so nice. There was also a cat and dog. Dude, we're finishing the trip today. This is our Yay! last day on the freaking road. Day we're driving. I mean, we didn't get as far yesterday because 100 miles in Southern California is a lot different than 100 miles in Northern California. So we're mobbing all the way back up to St. Clemente where we stopped last night, all the way down on the border. And I'm stoked. I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I'm, Casey's stoked. I'm hyped. Stoked it's gonna yeah. be sick. This is day 21 of the trip. There's been no caffeine from either of these two. We are on the last day and these guys have caffeine. I feel different. Like I feel like a different person. So we're going into Camp Pendleton and we're about to go up and see if we're able to ride through. Since last minute we found out that you had to apply uh, a week in advance. And the first time we researched it, we thought that you just went up to the gate so we didn't do any more research. So if we can't get in, then we also can't go on the freeway because we're not allowed. So we're probably just gonna hop the van crush this section in the van and then hop off as soon as we can Oceanside. Yeah. And it's not a world record, you know, like we, we one wheeled from Washington, 20 miles is who cares. Hi guys. We are just trying to get south to San Diego. To Oceanside. And we're just wondering if there's a pass like that bikers usually take. Come on guys. Well, you can push out of Las Vegas Road using the... Uh, the campgrounds? Yeah, okay, maybe we go to Las Vegas then. Perfect. Yeah. I got a friend of mine and he drives around him all the time. Oh, heck yeah. How long have you guys been on for? 21 days. That's so sick. You guys are uh, going straight all the way to the border? Yeah, border today. Yeah. <laughs> we made it to Carlsbad. San Diego County. Like, it feels like we didn't do what we just did. It feels like we're back home. Yeah. It feels like we got 20 days here. <laughs> it's nice having a destination and a timeline. Because I don't know where we would be. Lucadia! I'm going to with chicken. Can I add beans and rice? Burrito time! And sanitas. And sanitas with the burritos. Oh. Oh. What up? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, no. What's good? Let's yeah. go, baby! Can't believe you guys just did this. I'm so excited to meet up with all of you. Feet are numb, brother. These are uh, these feet are completely. You can't feel a thing. And I don't know how you guys did 1,800 miles. It's insane. <laughs> Dude, we are 17 miles away from the farthest point we can go to the Mexican border without actually crossing. This is the last 17 miles of this trip from Canada to Mexico. Let's go to Mexico. We're literally 
literally just taking this boulevard down the whole way. I'm so proud of you guys. Y'all are legends. Yay! <laughs> 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 We're literally mobbing with Border Patrol. The border is like right over there and we're just riding this road alongside the border in hopes that once we get over here we can get a better view <laughs> of the border, get as close as we can without actually going into Mexico. Yeah. yeah! We did it! Dude, we just finished the trip. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> That's the border. It says authorized vehicles only. Feel good. It's a little <laughs> sad that it's over, but. I'm also sad that it's yeah, over. Van. Is this border yeah. My feet hurt, but we made it. Dude, this feels weird. Yeah, what the heck did we just do? Driving on the coast has been a success. Copy, Roger. And we're out. Yeah.